Hi, and a warm welcome to this Ling's myofascial training practice for buoyancy in the body and lightness and deep strength in the shoulders. We are starting in a centered standing position with the legs about hip distance apart and parallel, the pelvis centered on top of the legs and the spine actively elongated. For the first exercise, you want to maintain this active elongation in the spine and a light activation through your central core. So a little bit of a lift from the pubic bone and a very light drawing back from your deep abdominals. Raise your arms forward and upward with an arm arc. Let your arms fall and the knees dynamically bend and extend. It's a dynamic knee bend with arm pendulum. If you like to visualize, you can imagine elastic springs across your heels, across the knees, and <laughs> over the side of the shoulders. Now these elastic springs elastically lengthen and recoil. So there's a feeling of buoyancy already coming into the body. Next time your arms are flying overhead, let's do this one more time, you keep your arms overhead and you pause. Let your arms fall forward and then fly overhead again. This is a dynamic knee bend and arm arc. <laughs> let's do this one more time. And then we go two and two. Two arm pendulums and two arm arcs. Coordination, one and one. One pendulum, one arc. One more time. And then you pause with your arms overhead, hold. You can stay facing forward, lower your arms, interlace your hands behind your back. This is an open fist, the heel of the hands apart, so that's great. Or closed fist, heel of the hands together. Roll the shoulders back and down, lift up from the pubic bone more, and then lift your sternum up towards the ceiling. Hard opener. Center the spine, release your hands, arms overhead, let your arms fall, dynamic arm pendulum, an arc. Alternating, one and one. Two more times the combination. So you're dynamically stabilizing your upper body from within while you're elasticizing your legs and your arms. Pause. Lower your arms. Interlace your hands the awkward way around. So the other way around, that's more <laughs> unknown. And then again, make a choice. Hands apart, the heel of the hands, or together. Once again, an active lift from the pubic bone, then the active lift from the sternum. Long spine extension, lifting the front of the body. Release. Arms are flying overhead. Dynamic knee bend and arm pendulum and the arc. One more time. The arms stay overhead again. And then you lower the right arm, lift the left side of the body, press your left foot onto the floor, let the side of the rib cage spread open like a fan that opens. With your next exhalation, lift up from the pubic bone some more. You inhale, expand the side of the rib cage. Exhalation, arm float if you like. This is an option. Inhalation, lower the arm. As you exhale with the arm float, you enhance the lift from the pubic bone, drawing back from the lower belly. One more arm float. And every inhalation creates a feeling of extra lift in the body. Let the breath flow. Lower the left arm. And then with a domino, side bend towards the left. Press your right foot onto the floor, grounding. Lift from the side of the ribcage, from the armpit. The shoulder is settled. The neck is long. Lift from the pubic bone with your exhalation. Inhale, expand the side of the ribcage. Exhalation, arm float again. Your choice. Inhalation, 
you lower. Let's do this two more times on this side. So there's core strength that's going through the body from the feet all the way up, coupled with a very light arm motion. Pulse, domino, lower the arm, wait for the spine to follow, inhale, exhalation, press your foot down, left side, exhalation, lift, and lower. We go two more times. So it's that beautiful combination of inner strength and at the same lightness in the periphery. Lower the arm, we let the domino take place. So this is hydrating and nourishing the fascia on the side of the body and then press down. You create muscular length in strength <laughs> or the other way around, muscular strength and length, and also fascial strength. So, and glide as you go up. We go one more time into the side bend. So, bringing strength and ease into the body, muscularly and fascially. Center the body, raise your arms overhead, let your arms fall, dynamic knee bend and arm pendulum, and the arc. One more time. Actually, two more times. <laughs> so you have a bit more time to tune in and just notice if you feel a difference in your shoulders in comparison to the first set. Now we pause. Lower your arms. Turn sideways. Facing, <laughs> like me, in this direction. Then you raise your arms overhead again and we combine the two arm movements one more time with the dynamic knee bend. Then, staying in a long standing position, bend your knees, active forward fold, circle the arms back and down, fold forwards, and for a moment, pause in the forward fold position. Relax your pelvic floor and abdominals, if you can, completely. Let your belly rest on the thighs. Let your shoulders be soft. Let your neck be long and the head just hang. And then you can extend the legs as far as you like. Bend your knees. Lift up onto your fingertips and active forward fold. And then walk your hands away from the feet into an inverted V. Pause for a moment in the inverted V position and then bend your knees, lower them onto the mat or a kneeling pad. And then you can shift the body back into a child's pose. Remember the child's pose is available to you at any time in the upcoming four point kneeling sequence. So take advantage of it whenever you feel you need to give your body a break. So from child's pose, extend your arms forward, place the hands <laughs> onto the mat, about shoulder distance apart, spread the fingers, and then lift the upper body up with a cat, and center the pelvis and the spine in the four-point kneeling position. The knees are directly beneath the hips, the hands are beneath the shoulders. The pelvis is centered, the spine is elongated, your head is in extension or in the same alignment with your neck. Now with your hands firmly grounded, press your hands forward and let your upper body shift back, centered. And then you shift forward again, shoulders directly over the hands, shift back. The aim is to keep the pelvis and the spine centered. You can exhale as you shift back, inhale as you shift forward. So this is a beautiful core stabilization exercise in which the deep abdominal and deep spine stabilizers alternate in the way they engage. So they always play together. When you shift back, though, there is more back strength emphasis. When you shift forward, more deep abdominal emphasis. Go one more time and pause. 
Whenever you are shifted back, many of us need to feel we lift the tailbone up towards the ceiling to keep the lower back centered. So just tune into your body and, and see if that's the case for you. Now, what all of us want to experience is lightness in the shoulders. So here, no weight-bearing strength in the shoulders and arms. It's all back strength. Now, let's add some balance. So you shift forwards and then you push back with the hands and you let the body bounce twice. Let's do this again. So remember the visualization from standing where you visualize springs across the knees, you still have got them, and now you also have them across the back of the hips. <laughs> so core stabilization and the feeling of buoyancy, elasticizing of the fascia across the knees and the hips. Let's do this one more time. And then stay in four-point kneeling, we're going into a reverse cat sequence. So you shift back slowly and then you engage the pelvic floor muscles strongly, lift up from the pubic bone. So lower abdominals engage from the inside out. All of the abdominals are engaged. You're an angry cat, fully opening the lower back. So this is your emphasis. Then the Long spine flexion, the curl is fading out in your upper back and your neck. Shift the shoulders directly over the hands. You're in cat position. Still fully engaged pelvic floor and abdominals. And a deep breath into the back of the rib cage. Center the pelvis, center the spine into four-point kneeling. Exhalation, shift back. Inhale, pause. With your exhalation, engage pelvic floor and abdominals. Roll from angry cat into cat. Inhalation, center the pelvis, center the spine in four-point kneeling. Exhale, shift back. Inhale, pause. Exhalation, curl. And with your inhalation, center. Ready for the bounce? Stay centered. Double exhalation, bounce back, inhale. Two more times. So I love this. This is a core stabilization exercise in the center. At the same time, it creates buoyancy in the extremities. Pause. Slow shift back, press with your left hand, lift your right arm, arm lift. Center, hand to the floor, press with the right hand forward while lifting the left arm. Shift forward, hand to floor. Now you're adding to your core stabilization exercise a shoulder strengthening exercise. Shifting back. <clears throat> and as an added bonus, you also strengthen the stabilizing muscles on the side of the hips. Let's do this one more time. You press with your right hand while with lightness floating the left arm up. Ready for the combination. So a double bounce, slow down the motion, arm float right, Hand to floor, double bounce, and arm float left. Let's do this again one more time each side. And one more. So this is a really wonderful combination, again, of inner strength, a feeling of lightness in the extremities or buoyancy. Finish with a double bounce. And then shift back slow. Curl into a cat, fully engaging the abdominals from the inside out. I completely left out the inhalation. <laughs> Sorry, if you just stumbled, you did well. Center, and then either 
on offer the child's pose or you bring your forearms onto the floor. And if your left forearm is closer to the knees, you use your left forearm. If it's the right, you use the right. So whatever arm is closer to the knees, you slide it to the other side, extending it. And now you are in thread the needle. A very easeful thread the needle pose here. So if available, you can rest the side of your head on the other forearm. And just for a moment, stay in this position. And then parallel your forearms again. Change the <laughs> orientation so your other arm is now closer to the knees and then you slide this one along the floor into an easeful thread the needle pose. Now I love this position. So the pelvis is inverted here. We are unloading the pelvic floor muscles there and they aren't really fully loaded in four-point kneeling, but still it's really nice to take the organ weight of them. Inversions make the organs happy. And we are also rotating the spine, which is a wonderful complementary movement with the dynamically stabilizing four-point kneeling sequence. You can, once again, center your upper body, push up onto the hands into four-point kneeling, Balancing on the go, centered four-point kneeling, press your hands forward, shift back, inhale, and then curl into a cat. Balancing the right and the left side of the spine in movement. Now I have another offer for you for this bouncing arm lifting combination. So double bounce first, you shift back. Now you float your right arm up as you go forward. Hand to floor, bounce and lift. Double exhalation, a slow inhalation. So I love this, so pushing the hands forward and then the inhalation brings sometimes ease to the arm lift. So that would be wonderful if you feel it. However, it also challenges the dynamic stability of the body. Let's do this one more time. And then keeping both hands on the floor, slow shift back, pause, curl into a cat. Four point kneeling centered and one more double bounce. Shifting forward, lift your feet off the floor, curl your toes under, shift halfway back, lift your knees off the floor, extend the legs into four point kneeling, walk your hands and your feet together, forward fold, Extend the legs as far as you like. Leg stretch. Pelvic floor, abdominals, engage them fully. Roll up slowly. Let your arms hang. <laughs> Giving them a well-deserved break. Until you're in a standing position, you can turn forward. Find a centered alignment again. Raise your arms forward and upward. You know what's coming. Dynamic knee bend and arm pendulum and the arc. Tuning in. How's this feeling in your body? How are the arms swinging? How's the bounce in your leg? The feeling of dynamic stability in your upper body. One more time. And then pause with your arms overhead. Lower your arms, interlace your hands behind your back. 
either your <laughs> accustomed way or the unusual way. Interlace, uh, bring the heel of the hands together if you like, sorry. And then roll the shoulders back and down. Lift and release. Arms overhead, let your arms fall. <laughs> However you have interlaced your arms, sorry. Go the other way around. Can you do it immediately? And then roll the shoulders back and down, heart opener. And last time, release, turn forward. One more time. And then lower your arms and I hope you feel uplifted from within.